Hello, it's Guy Hutchinson. I am in Greenwich, Connecticut. This is uh, one of the nicest places in America. It's always on the list. If you have a list of the most rich and beautiful places, Greenwich, Connecticut always falls on this list. This is the hometown of Vince McMahon. Uh, this is where he's built from when Vince comes to the ring, from Greenwich, Connecticut. Also, Shane and Stephanie, when they come to the ring, from Greenwich, Connecticut, and the Mean Street Posse from Greenwich, Connecticut, even Triple H, when he was the Connecticut Blue Blood, uh, Hunter Hearst Helmsley, he would come from Greenwich, Connecticut. Uh, this is really something, it's nice to be here. And when Vince McMahon, we are going to visit all of the locations where they had company headquarters, and this is one, spoiler, uh, but we're gonna visit them. And when he started his company, he started it here in Greenwich. Now, the WWF existed prior to this. His father, Vincent J. McMahon had owned it. He purchased it. So from 1983 to 1985, they were in this building on 81 Holly Hill Road here in Greenwich, Connecticut. Take a look at this. This was Vince's ID card when he would work here at this building. It's a it's an impressive building. It's pretty big. Looks nice and it is in a very nice area. Uh, a lot of office buildings around here. And yeah, so this would have been the place where meetings were held to discuss Hulk Hogan beating Iron Cheek. This was where Mr. T would have showed up to sign contracts and discuss what they were going to do at WrestleMania. This is where Howard Finkel would have approached Vince every day and said, hey, here's how we're doing with that WrestleMania thing. Uh, even the name WrestleMania would have been created right in this building. After 1985, they moved to Stamford, Connecticut, which isn't very far from here. Vince still lives here, but the WWE moved over to Stamford, and so that's where we're gonna go. All right, Greenwich, it's been a lot of fun. I love seeing this building, something else. I mean, it really is neat to think about all the stuff that has happened here, but let's go. We've got our next stop. So after the success of WrestleMania, WWE moved to the bigger city of Stamford, Connecticut. They moved to an office which was here. There's now this brick building. This has been built since, so it has been leveled. But the office building here is where Jack Tunney would have come to work. Hey, shut where up, they shut up. Don't listen to me. Everything I say is wrong. Uh, all right, I'm back home and I look at my GPS and I look at my paperwork. I was supposed to be at 105.5. Summer Street, I was at 105 Summer Street. I drove past it and didn't realize it and then pulled up to the wrong building and it was new, it was like a new building. And so I said, well, I guess they tore it down in the past year or two and I didn't know about it. Uh, sorry about that, wish I had a do-over on it, but I'm already back home, it's two hours to get back there. Hopefully I'll get to do this again someday and then I will go to this location. I'm gonna put it on the screen now for you. It is still there. Listen to what I have to say. I'm waxing poetic about the things that happened there. That's all still true, but I was in the wrong spot. So just ignore all the stuff about it being demolished. Building here is where Jack Tunney would have come to work, where they would have discussed WrestleMania 7, where Andre the Giant and Hulk Hogan's fate was determined would have been in a building over here and also a lot of other big things happened during this time a lot of merchandising things like that but the building not big enough so they moved the one everybody knows and that's where we're going right now all right guys i gotta admit i didn't feel anything going to the last couple locations it was neat that there was some history there but this place this is something else so this is titan towers this is where uh wwe has all their offices right now before they move to the new place this is where otis won money in the bank on the roof where oscar won money in the bank where dx painted their logo on the side of the building where a man jumped out of the window in a commercial wwf attitude this is it this is the big time wwe E and WWF headquarters from 1990 until they moved to the next location, which we're going to go to next, uh, which should be any day now. But here it is. This is this is the one. So here you go. Take a look at this. So you can see this building from the highway. Uh, you've seen it all over television. It is it is a, a glass shiny jewel. There's a big 
WWE flag on the top, big logo up there. It is something to see. Uh, I gotta tell you, it's really exciting to be here. Here's the gate, so it uh, keeps people out, and I am certainly one of the people they want to keep out, but excited to see it, excited to look at it. Glad I finally got to look. This guy's going in, though. This guy's got reason to be there, not me. Behind me is the brand new WWE headquarters. This one's not open yet. They've built it. Uh, it's actually an existing building, but they're, they're redoing everything. Of course, got to make it perfect for them. I think they're going to be not the only tenant, but this is their new space. Very big, right down the street from the old one. Uh, but this is where they're going to be doing things from now on. So very soon. They were already supposed to have done it. So this is a rare achievement to be able to get to this one with the logo in front of it and Titan Towers with the logo in front of it. So now we've seen both of them. There it is. This will be the place where they come up with new ideas, come up with new events, new things. This will all come right here on Washington Boulevard at the brand new gigantic state-of-the-art headquarters. Uh, very nice right here in Stamford, Connecticut. There's Titan Towers from the highway. Look at that. Well, that's a wrap from Stanford. Man, this was neat to see. Some interesting places uh, that I've always seen on TV, always thought about. And so now, I've seen that one in person, seen the other places where they did stuff, and we got to see what their new location looks like. Pretty exciting. Right now, a box is going to pop up here a box over here and you can choose either one i'm in both of them from stanford connecticut i'll see you on this or that and i'll see you next time